In the previous lesson, we discussed how to use the filters inside the queries. So let's explore some more features about the query filters. And uh, before we do that, uh, let me just remove this length column. So again, uh, because it is taking too much space on the screen, so I can remove this column. Uh, make sure select the table and then going back to the column view and uh, remove the length column there all right and now we will go back to the query editor and uh, in the previous lesson we had some query filter so let's quickly uh, recap what we did in the previous lesson so we basically added one filter about the sale price and all you have to do is to drag the variable onto the query filter section against which you want to create a filter and we said that show us all of the uh, records where the sale price is greater than 150 and uh, if we run the query so we will get the filtered results so instead of three four pages we had only two pages of data so that is what we did now uh, in, in this uh, example, uh, the example that we did in the previous lesson, basically we are writing here a constant value. Okay? So for example, if we say 200, okay, if we say 200 and if we uh, run the query, so we will have all the records where the sale price is more than 200. Okay? So sale price is more than 200. And uh, if we want to change the value from 200, if we want to change it to uh, let's say 300 so we will have to go back to the query editor and we will have to change the constant value so let's change it to 300 okay all right so now again we are getting very limited data and uh, if uh, we are in the reading mode Okay, when we are in the reading mode and now let's say we want to change the filter. So instead of 300, we want to get the values where the sales price is more than 400. So we can refresh the query, but we'll be getting the same result because we have entered the filtered value as a constant, which cannot be changed. It can only be changed if we go back to the design mode and if we redesign the query. Okay, so we can go back to the design mode and uh, we can go back to the query and uh, then we will get again we can put 150 or 200 whatever but we have the option to go back to the query editor or the query panel and we can then change the values but this option again is not very flexible because uh, we'll always have to go back to the query panel and change the values and then rerun uh, the query uh, we have another option which is much more recommended and that is if we click here on these uh, three lines we have one option which is called prompts so prompt means that user will have the option to specify the value by themselves so we the designer will not have to fix the value so that is the purpose of the prompt so we'll have a look at the prompt in a while but before we look at uh, the prompt we have another option which is called the values from list so what what this option does is that uh, let's say uh, we are uh, let's say we want to specify here the value 300 400 or let's say we are thinking about putting the value of 600 but we are not sure whether we have any value greater than 600 or not so instead of just blindly typing any value what we can do we can go here to values from the list and we can select the values from the list and just choose any value so these are all the values directly coming from the database so we can just be sure that the, the value that we will select uh, is going to give us some results so if we say that where the sales price is greater than 210 so we have some values greater than 210 so we can just select any value from the list and click OK but still we are fixing the value so we are uh, uh, using the value as a constant okay but uh, we don't want to use a constant value so again either you go for constant or values from the list almost the same thing 
what we want to do is we want to let the user decide that which value to go for for the filter so in that case we can go for the prompt okay which means that user can decide that what should be the value for the sale price so what we did is we selected here prompt and that's it and now if we run the query so there will be a prompt so if you don't see any value here so all you have to do is to reload the list so if you click here because we already had one list already entered as the sale price so uh, for the first time you will have a list of all the all the values but in the second third time you may not see any value so all you have to do is to reload the list so click here on this refresh or the reload button and you will have the list okay and now you can specify the value so let's say we want to go for uh, let's say 69 and okay so now the system will show us all the values where the sales price is more than 69 all right so all here so all 69 69 now if we go back to the reading mode and if we refresh the query so you will see this prompt each and every time so all you have to do is to refresh the query and there will be a prompt and you can reset the values so you'll have to click here on reload and now instead of 69 let's say you want to view all of the values which are greater than for example 83 so you can just go for any other value and click ok and again if you want to change the values you can just refresh the query reload the list and go for any other value so you can reset the value at the runtime you don't have to go back to the design mode and uh, you know edit the query that is not required all you have to do is to refresh the query and there will be a prompt and user can directly change the values in the prompt for the filters okay so let's go back to the design mode and explore some more features about these uh, this query filter so again uh, you can go back to the query editor or the query panel so this is what we did is we selected the prompt as the type or, or the criteria to enter the values okay. so next to these three lines we have this settings icon so if you click here you will see the properties so some of the basic properties for example what will be the prompt text so the prompt text is enter sale price again it's uh, you know this is more than enough but if you want to make some changes for example you want to say that please enter sale price okay so that will be the prompt that will be visible when the prompt window will open okay and uh, then you can also set some default value so that we will explore in the next example so if we press ok here and if we run the query so here you can see the prompt please enter sale price okay so again you can just refresh the values okay go for any value 79 for example click on run okay all right so let's try one more example and uh, let's go back to the query panel and let's delete this uh, filter here and the next filter that we will try here is for example on category so let's drag the category object onto the filter section and instead of typing a constant we can get the values from the list but that will be same like uh, you know uh, specifying the value as a constant so instead of doing that what we can do we can go for prompt which means we can let the user decide that which values to go for and the operator that we are using here is show us all of uh, the items where the category in a list which means we can go for multiple values if we say that the category equals to which means we can enter only one value or select only one value if we say the category in list which means we can go for multiple selection multiple values okay so let's go for in list 
and uh, this will be the prompt enter values for the category and let's run the query and now we can specify the category so let's say the bermuda and the evening wear so two categories and run so we'll get all of the results for these two categories only as we can see here okay and now if we want to so let's go back to the rating mode and if we want to change the values all we have to do is to refresh the query and reload the list and we can just go for some other categories so let's go for uh, uh, full length and uh, two pocket shirts and one more maybe we can go for uh, uh, jewelry so three categories and run so now we are getting results from these three categories so we don't have to go back to the query panel and change the values because we are not using the constant values we are basically using the prompts and in the prompts we can change the values whenever we want all right so let's go back to the query editor and uh, what else we can do is again if we click here on this uh, properties icon and uh, as we know we can select the categories at the runtime but what we can do is we can also specify some default values so maybe we have two categories which we are selecting each and every time so those categories are must so what we can do instead of selecting them manually each and every time in the prompt we can define or set those categories as the default values so we can check here default values and then we can click on values so what would be the default value so let's say the bermuda and boat wear are always the default values are the or, or the these are the two categories which will always be part of the data bermudas and the boat wear and we can click ok you can also type the value and click on the arrow but again if you will type there is a chance of making a spelling mistake so it's better to just click on values and then select two or three values as the default values and click OK. So again, that is you, you got this feature from this settings icon. And now if you run the query and if you reload the list, OK, and uh, so you will see that the full length two pocket shirts and jewelry so these are the default values okay these are the values which are already selected so if i close and if i show you the properties again so you can see here the bermudas and boat wear are the default values and the third one which was selected from the previous selection so bermudas and the boat wear are the default values all right so if you refresh the list and if we go down so we can select for example let's select some of the other values so uncheck all of these values so i'm not going to select the bermudas and the boat wears okay i'm only going to select jeans okay i'm just selecting jeans and run all right okay so the default values are not visible here so let's go back and see where is the problem okay default values bermudas and boatwear okay 